summer break is over and the International GT Open season continues. We've just got six races to go and the championship fight couldn't be tighter between Giovanni Venturini and Thomas Biaggi who are tied on points with Miguel Ramos and Mikel Mack. It promises to be a thrilling weekend of racing. So let's take a look at the very best of the action. Led away from pole position at the start of the ninth race of the GT Open season. Though Marco Mapelli pushed him all the way into Cox for the first time with Onslow Cole slotting through into third position. First lap with 24 cars all jostling through the ground was always going to be frantic. But fortunately, they all made it through cleanly. It got very tight between Marcello Hard, Hamaguchi, and Alex Moisev, who eventually was rotated. Meanwhile, Mario Farnback was pushing hard early on alongside Francesco Cini. Gucci and West then did battle a bit lower down the order in front of the field. Albert Costa was running in tandem with Marco Mapelli. Post pit stops, Valentin Pierberg was quickly gobbled up by Raffaele Giammaria, who had taken over from Thomas Biaggi as at the front of the field, but it probably that led the way from Giovanni Venturini. Rob Bow mate. Sean Bell made this move on Valentin Pierberg to snatch fourth place and the Pro Am class win. Whereas behind, we've reached an absolutely magnificent scrap. It's Giuseppe Perazzini, Dominic Farnbacker, and Ryan Ratcliffe went wheel to wheel, lap after lap. Eventually, it was Antonio Fitz de Costa, who was one of the drivers who was able to side through on route to an excellent seventh place overall. It was the third victory of the season for Philip from Villa and Albert Costa in the ML Frey Race of Lexus. Helping their championship charge no end. Head of championship leader Giovanni Venturini alongside Marco Mapelli with then Raffaele Giovanni and Thomas Biaggi completing the outright race podium with Sean Bell and Rob Bell in the Pro-Am class of Costa and Miguel Sardinia in the GT-Am class. The qualifying was perfect, uh, we did a really good job also only using one set of tyres so we saved one for the race and uh, yeah in the race everything was getting well, I feel the tyres were a bit cold, I think we make a, a small mistake with the pressures and uh, yeah at the end I blocked the tyres at the middle of my steam and I had a huge front in the front tyres, this is why uh, Mapelli was catching me on the braking and uh, yeah I lost a bit, I was expecting for a better rhythm to be honest because yesterday I was quite strong but uh, at the end, so the car was answering pretty well, and, and then Philip made a really good job to keep the pressure on. And yeah, now it's uh, time for him on the qualifying tomorrow. Let's keep on the same way, and I really hope to finish at least top five for tomorrow, and it's a great win, so we are back. Philip, second stint was a matter of keeping everything under control, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, Albert did an amazing stint, and we knew uh, the second posi position car um, had a penalty from uh, the last race, I think, and so I just managed uh, to save tyres and uh, stay on track and that uh, was my job and yeah, thanks to the team, thanks to Albert, it was really, really good today. A thrilling 10th round of the International GT Open Championship with Fran Raider leading from pole positions. The field charged into a very dark box corner for the first time. Front of the field, Antonio Fitz de Costa and Fran Rueda that did battle in the early stage of the race. This is the move that was sufficient to propel de Costa into the lead. Meanwhile, behind Cobb Nedergaard, he got shuffled down the field with a fine job of fighting his way up through the pack, including this move on Mikel Mack as we headed into the mid race pit stops. Meanwhile, Johnny Molum, hard at work recovering from an early spin. Move on Manuel de Costa. Post pit stops and disappointment for Marcello Hahn. Something letting go on the Mercedes, pitching him into a spin. Meanwhile, Marco Mapelli was on an absolute charge, overcoming the success seconds from yesterday's race victory. Likewise, Miguel Ramos pushing as hard as he could, moving ahead of Hiroshi Hamaguchi and up into the points. In the front of the field, the BMWs were dicing throughout the course of the race. As Mario Farback and another driver who got caught out, just pushing a little bit too hard. 
Barrett Viega and Bubeng fighting front and front. Tosta was there with the third, with Marco Mapelli, Albert Costa, and Andrea Fontana all doing battle. But it was Renko Barrett Viega and Teo Fitz Costa who took the win. Victor Bubeng and Fran Reda are 1 2 for Teo Martin Motorsport. Albert Costa from Villa Home in third, with Jordan Witt, Michael Meadows in the Pro Am class, Alex Moisev, and Davide Rizzo in the Am class. It was tough, huh? it was very fast at the end, uh, especially when I broke up my, my front uh, splitter, so I had a lot of understeer, very difficult to handle, to handle the car, especially in the fast corners, but uh, I managed to handle I managed to handle the Bouvang behind, so very happy first win here, hopefully the first of many, with the great help of Antonio, so hopefully next, the future will be better even. And they clearly were in the team orders because the start of the race was quite... Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we obviously spoke about it. You know, it was important to bring home the, the result for the team. Uh, great job by BMW and Team Teo Martin. But um, yeah, I felt I was a little bit quicker than Fran. And uh, I did kind of signal him. I flashed him to, to tell him that I was coming through. And uh, yeah, eventually there was a bit of contact, but everything was fine. And then, uh, yeah, tried to build a bit of a gap from there on to give the car to Lorenzo with a bit of margin. But uh, yeah, very tough at the end. Lorenzo did a great job to, to hold it. And I'm uh, just very happy with, uh, with the result.